Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. So, today we are going to be sanding the car. So, let me show you what my plan of attack is here. So, let me flip you all around. Okay, so here is my plan of attack. My plan of attack is to continue here. So, this is pretty much all set. I can't remember. I There's probably a couple of those spots here, but... And I honestly can't remember if there are, were or not, so I'll just relook at my video that I uploaded. But over here today is what I want to do is I'm going to start sanding down this trunk lid. Um, I know that I got a dent here that I got to fill, get that all nice and good to go. All this back here, this um, lower piece here, this seems pretty good to go. And I know that there is a dent somewhere on this piece up here that I got painted. So I just slap that in quick. So after I get that done, then we're gonna move to this quarter panel, the door, front quarter, and then we'll do the front balance, upper, lower, and then the hood. And then after that's all done, I'm gonna be coming back over everything and hitting it with a orbital sander with some 320 on it, just to get it, all the scratches, and good to go. So that's kind of where I'm at, and that is the plan of attack. So. Let's get going on it. All right, so here's what I did. I got everything all sanded down. As you can see, there's spots where I started hitting or barely starting to hit the primer. A couple spots sanded through to the primer and there's just some light spots and stuff like that. So there's a few dark spots on here where I was able to identify where the um, where they were low. So I went ahead and got those filled in. Now with this piece, I'm gonna actually have to take this off because just it's almost got like a little curve to it and I can't really get to it with it in. So let me pop that off, I'll get it sanded down, and then I'll show you if I had to fill anything on it. So stick tight and I'll be right there. All right, so I got this all sanded down here, all nice and smooth. There was two low spots right here. So I went ahead and put some more glazing putty on it. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. <clears throat> While that's drying, I'm actually gonna jump back in here and do some more sanding. Unfortunately, these videos are gonna be really, really boring, lots of sanding. Um, try to make them more exciting and try to talk some more or do something but honestly I'm just at the point on the car right now where all that's pretty much left is sanding and body filling so that's kind of where we're at so let me go ahead and set you all up and then we will get back to work
Alrighty, so there we go. We got the most pots all filled in. They're perfectly flush and good to go. Now, I will be putting a spoiler on, which is actually right up there. But the reason that I'm sanding all this down, and actually I gotta fill this up one more time. It's a little bit rough. I'm starting to break through. But the reason that I'm filling these in is because I want this to be nice when I'm done with it. So I want it to be all looking as good as I can get it. So that's why I'm filling these little holes in, these little low spots. So I guess it doesn't hurt to take the extra time to do a good job, even though you won't see it. That's just kind of where I'm at here. So give me a minute here. I'm gonna get some more filler on here. And then is what I'm gonna do is I'll go out to the other piece and get that sanded down as well. Um, that body filler should be dry now. So I'm kind of stretching here for some content. So is what I thought I would do, some content that's just not sanding boring is, I got this uh, pin alignment system from Eastwood. And this what it does is you just drill holes through your hinges and then you can go ahead and uh, line your pins up or your hinges up to where they were before you uh, took off your door or hood or trunk lid. So let's get to installing these. Looks pretty simple, looks pretty sweet. And it will help me when I go to um, when I have to take out the trunk or the hood or the doors, this will help me to get everything aligned up correctly. So let's take a peek at it. So as what it says is, this says to put the, uh, comes with, so what this all comes with is two drill bits and they're both sides have the, uh, the drill on it. So pretty much like four drill bits, but anyway, then it comes with also comes with four pins. So it says to put the, uh, bit in about an inch sticking out of your drill and then go ahead and, uh, find a suitable location and drill through. So just to make sure I don't pop through all the way, I'm actually gonna make this shorter, a lot shorter. And then I'm just gonna make sure that when I go through, if I have any oopsies, I don't go through the actual hood. So. And then I'm just going to verify that that is a good position or that this pin, these are magnetic here, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to verify that that slides in and sits flush, which it does. So I know that next time I put the hood on, I just got to line up this hole and then the hole that I'm going to drill over here on this side. And then once both pins are in, it should be in the exact location that it is right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this drill. There we go. Got the second hole. Take this other alignment pin here. And there we go. Looks like it aligns pretty good. So all this should be in the same position that it was when I do go to take it off. So y'all may be wondering or thinking, hey, you didn't get everything lined up and you know, with the spoilers not straight and gotta re-drill those holes. Well, there's really not much to worry about that. Um, when my brother was here, one of the first things we did before we actually started working was I had him come over here and help me set up everything in the pack and get it all aligned up. So we got all the body lines pretty good back here. It's pretty flush. It doesn't really hang over and they're pretty level. And then back here or over here, it's the same. And then the body lines going down the car, they're actually pretty, pretty darn straight and pretty much the same. The only place that I do have a little issue is right here. It actually gets a little bit thinner right here and then it does down here. Now we're talking about like a 30 second of an inch, which I could do what some other YouTubers have done in the past and grind it down and re-weld it and make it perfect. But to tell you the truth, for the 30 second of an inch that this is off, 
I just don't feel for me personally that it's worth it um, some people might disagree that's fine this is gonna be a car that's actually gonna be driven it's not a show car it's something that I just want to have fun with um, <clears throat> drive around and enjoy the car and not just let it sit in my garage and not get used so yeah with that being said when you're going down the road and everything you're gonna get dings in the paint because you're gonna get rock chips and you know stuff's gonna happen so I would rather enjoy my car driving it than enjoy it by just looking at it so but anyway I only had a few hours uh, this week to work on the car unfortunately um, I'm hoping that maybe later this week or next week I might get some time to start the other quarter panel. I do apologize these videos are going to be very very boring but I'm just documenting my whole process and progress on the car so that's going to be you know with the sanding and everything so yeah just uh, bear with me as these times get super boring and are just kind of repetitive in the same thing so uh, thanks a lot for watching I will see y'all next time uh, have a great week or weekend Actually, it'd probably be a weekend. But anyway, you guys, have a good time. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Peace. Oh, before I forget, on a side note, let me give you guys the uh, view of what this is looking like after I got it all sanded. I kind of just skipped over that part, but here's what we're looking like. It's looking really smooth, looking really good. And then this little filler piece, I'm not sure what it's called. I could probably Google it. doesn't matter. I call everything the wrong part anyway. But anywho, yeah, this is what it turned out like. Um, super smooth super great um, got all the low spots filled in there's no yeah it's looking good it's perfectly flat so it's good to see that from that corner all the way back it is pretty much done it is sanded at least to 120 grit and then actually I shouldn't say it's all done because I did find some issues over here with this fender when I took it off last time down here it needs a little bit more attention and then right here as well uh, yeah you can see the paint it's it's not smooth so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to fill that again and then there's a couple other spots around on the fender here where it wasn't up to my standards up the par but anyway yeah that's kind of where we're at oh actually it was up here it's a little spot there I don't know what happened a little chunk there I'm gonna get my permanent marker and mark that like I'm saying I don't know what exactly happened or why that caused that but it's almost like I think that run that I had in the uh, I had a run in the epoxy primer and I think that's what caused that so unfortunately yeah I don't know we'll just have to fix it but she's coming along good Anyway, we'll see y'all later. Thanks.